Right, let's go make ourselves useful. If the nightmare is at work here, they'll need us. The forge. Kate said the blacksmith may need help. I'd be glad to help. But after years of trade, though my mind is keen, my body betrays me. Yes, I've bought and sold it all. Furs and jewels, tobacco, wine, fish and fowl, sugar and spice, the corn, and with it, the eucopia. I don't suppose you've any nails, but these ones are shite. I do not, Devil. I do not. But I assure you that... This house here. Look how stained it is. I wonder who's home. Who oh, there inside? Anyone home? It's empty. Who goes into the wilderness to write letters? Our prudent sake lives here. She writes well, and she also seems to be out of her mind. Three oaks, it says. Could be where she's gone. Those are acorns on a table. Seems likely. Nobody home, but the stew is bubbling. Off hunting for flavor for the stew, I hope. Startled. Oh well, ain't you a sight? Who are you then? Red McCraith, ma'am, the banisher. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Oh, the Scotsman. I like your accent, and I like your manner too. Nelly, Nelly Heaton. A friendly Londoner. I like her already. To the point, madam. Kate Newsmith worries for you, and for your husband, too. He around? Fortune left some hours ago and hasn't come back. I confess I'm beginning to worry. What if the beast got him? Did he not say where he was going? Thick skin has him making nails for the stockade. She presses him, and he feels the weight of it. Could he have gone out in search of material? Doubtful. He's exhausted. He doesn't sleep. He works day and night. It wasn't always so. Coming to New Eden saved us. It saved the marriage. I should go look for your husband. He's no woodsman, so he can't have gone far. Please, do find him. I didn't come this far only to lose him now. Can I have a look around your house? Yes, if it helps. So, what's the chatter? Bad news travels faster than good. What would you like to know? How's life about the place? We're doing our best to make things work. The beast is worrisome, it is true. But thick skin knows what's what. I'm sure we'll be fine. What think you of thick skin new smith? She ain't perfect, that's for sure. But she's independent, fair-minded, strong in body as in character. She cares for us. I know it in my heart, even if she doesn't show it. Why else would she shield us from the beast? 
What can you tell me of Kate Newsmith? I like her. She's different from her sister. Sensible, watchful. When she speaks, I listen. Let's trade, Mrs. Eaton. All right, let's. Let's trade, Mrs. Eaton. All right, let's. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Welcome. I've enjoyed our chat. It's nice to have someone new to talk with. I have a feeling about the bed. How about a chant to reveal the past? Imaradas en tus. No ghost threatening Nanny. That's her husband. It seemed like he was fighting the urge to hurt her. That drill bit as dull as a hammer.
That ghost sounds nasty. That ghost sounds obsessed. These nails look brittle. Metalworking isn't easy, but this stuff is surprisingly shite. Haskell chose the blacksmith for his mastery, but the work is poor. Something's pulsing here. Let me try something. Well, that's handy. Imagine, all those years hunting ghosts, how much time we would have saved. Someone scrubbed the walls. Mrs. Hake must have seen the numbers. I didn't much like them. As a cook, this Prudence Hake makes an excellent letter writer. She's resourceful. That's interesting. Let's go find these oak trees and this haunted, well-lettered cook. So you want a map? Do you wish to sail the seas, or perhaps to know which way the is The map Boston? points us west. Or do you wish to travel west and claim more land that is not yours? I will teach you to draw your map. So, mark the camp as your starting point. Trace the path along it. And each landmark. And journey's end. No blacksmith, and no tools. Could he have taken them with him? So, the blacksmith has gone missing with his tools. And a saltwater ghost haunts the forge. Let's go find it.
There are stains here. I can show you them. Let's see if the trail leads to our blacksmith. A moment. Well, that's handy. Imagine all those years hunting ghosts, how much time we could have saved. Come on, let's go find our blacksmith. What think you of the blacksmith and his wife? A ghost haunts Fortune Heaton and his smithy too. Aye, but whose? I join in too? Safe. Uh, are they? Are they gone? I oh, thank you, whoever you may be, for whatever you have done. I oh, thank you. I thought I was done for. Fortune Heaton, sir, and so very pleased that you came along. Red McCraith, the banisher. Weren't there two of you? There were, yes. As it happens, I've been looking for you. You have? Uh, what for? What are you doing out here anyway? Do you not fear the prowling beast? Oh, I needed a walk, a bit of fresh air, a bit of light. Forge is... Well, it's dark and hot, isn't it? I didn't mean to be a worry. We all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why did you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're wanted. That's why. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm losing my tiny little mind. And it's them godforsaken tools that's to blame. I start working with them. 
and then I look up and half the day's gone and I am somewhere else entirely and <laughs> that's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted and I'm getting rid of them as deep in the woods as I can go. Did the haunted tools tell you to kill your wife? No. Yes. Maybe, no, I... I would never hurt her. Yes, they told me to hurt her. Maybe... Maybe I'd have hurt her. Can you help us? Yes. But I can't guarantee you'll like the result. I heard you praying. I thought I recognised the text. You did? You sure? Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. Aye. Ah, thought he sounded Catholic. Oh, well, just coincidence. <sighs> Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. I did it for Nelly. I am. Was Catholic. It was a convenience more than a calling. Keep it yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. Not my business. I won't tell us all. <sighs> Thank you. That's twice I owe you. So, you're the blacksmith. What's that like then? Uh, it's alright, I suppose. You busy? Yes, of course I am. Lots of building work to be done. That means nails. Whole lot of nails, like an ocean of stupid bloody nails. I love when a man takes pride in his work. Head for camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, Banisher. I'll... <laughs> Thank you. I'll catch my breath and head back. Mine! Mine! Mine, oh mine! The ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. The flat of the echo is missing from the toolbox. If it's not around here somewhere, he lied to us. Let's see where the back door leads.
I see the blacksmith has gone. Spectral stains heading deeper into the woods. Odds are there's a blacksmith's flatter at the end of the trail. Fortune the blacksmith came deep into the dangerous woods. He's no blacksmith, he's lying. We sent him home, I hope he's no danger for Nelly. Something's concealed. The hammer. Looks like Fortune tried to get rid of it. The hammer is the ghost tie. Now to retrieve it without breaking my neck. Yes, that would be a shame. We need to look for somewhere to cross. to show themselves. I summon you now! Messed this up, didn't I? Reveal your true self. I have another insight. Ah! <laughs> 
Watch out. Spectre possession. Oh. I... Try this sword. This one's protected. Look to me. This isn't over yet. One less to worry about. Creeping ivy. I always hated these sap thirsty spectres. Someone's left us a fire camp to use. Could this be a treasure map? Looks like one. Maps don't necessarily lead to treasure. Aye, but what if this one does? Very well. Let's look for this treasure that obviously awaits us. Is it just me or...? I felt it too.
the spot can't be far. Enjoying your feast of lesser living form, then? Don't be so loud. The wisps might hear you and come out. Mongrel.
This way. A French woman? Aye. And she's taken no shine. Well, she is French. Who is there? Come no closer. Eat. Come no closer. Who are you? Why do you follow me? Red McCraith, at your service. The Banisher who lived. <laughs> For what little good it brought. Are you Prudence Hake? What do you want? She's skittish. Why? Who were you talking to just now? What do you mean? Just now. Your voice was raised. You were speaking French. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Right. Fine. We're doing this, then. You heard wrong. You won't get her to say it, but Prudence Hake is secretly French. I was sorry to hear of your husband's death. My Thomas was a happy man, whatever you may have heard. You've hit a sore spot. Press hard upon it. I'll be plain, Mrs. Hake. I believe you need my help. I did not say I was, Prudence Hake. She's stubborn. I like that. I've seen the writing on your walls. You're haunted, are you not? I've had strange visitors, it's true. You, for example. Stay out of my house. I'm going home now. I mean it. Stay out. She denies what's happening to her. We'll need proof. More numbers. They look new. Yet more numbers. Let's follow the trail. Mrs. Hake seems suspicious to me. She was as suspicious of you as you are of her. I don't trust her. What else is she hiding? Her trouble, perhaps? Or her guilt?
Godless, faithless. Oh, it doesn't like us snooping. This is a cipher. Prudence Hake been sending encrypted messages. She reports the destruction of food rations arriving by sea in New Eden. That explains the burnt docks when we arrived. What now? More stains. Keep digging. These are not threats. These body parts scream manifest my spectre. Reveal yourself! I think you could take on a ghost? Have another insight. They're vexed now. Away with you. More messages. I sense the vivid echo of a ghost's memory. <laughs> Thomas? You know I'll always love you, right? The closer you get, the more aggressive it becomes. Thomas found her Huguenot seal. I don't think he knew she was a French Protestant. Maybe he's protecting her. The French aren't welcome on English land. 
This is not English land. Tell that to the English. Or to our ghost when we find them. Shite. Wait, we wish only to talk. Take your whispers and be gone! Ah, they brought more friends. Ready and waiting. Nice try, Thomas. I feel something close. and godless silent worthless blood guilty fool forever never ending mercy by my loving kindness no i cannot i will not prudence forgive me thomas thomas my god no what have you done stay please stay He took his own life. His were no ordinary nightmares. Can bad dreams do that to a man? If he's haunted, yes. Yes, they can. He is here. Someone's left us a fire camp to use.
Ned McCraith, sir. I'm trying to help your wife, Prudence. Whisper not to me, you devil. Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. My talk to you. I quite like it. Be gone, devil! You'll not have her! Prudence is not who you thought she is, and yet you kept her secret. I know her. I love her. Even after she betrayed the colony, even knowing she lied to you. Perfect love cast death out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. I promised to love her. A promise should be kept. You're killing her, Thomas. No. No, you're wrong. You're leeching the essence from her. She'll go insane, then she'll die. She needs me. She needs me. She needs me. He's lost his mind. And he's taken hers with it. He believes he keeps her safe. So we banish him. Then she'll be safe. Whatever we do, Prudence has the right to know what's happening. We should tell her. When did the nightmares begin? No beginning, never ending. Let the whispers end forever. Let the whispers end. Let them end. Was there a face behind the voice, or a dark figure floating over you, perhaps, draining your life away? No, no, not but what we are, the creatures we all truly are, buried in the darkness. Did you take a sleeping draught? A remedy, perhaps? Did Prudence give you something? Give? She gave me everything. I kept it, and I gave it back. Why the coded messages? What were you trying to say? The devil's whispers will come back. Forever she must flee. She must flee! Why would the whispers come for her too, Thomas? What aren't you telling us? Why are you here? Why aren't you running? Why isn't Prudence gone already? She'll listen if she hears it straight from you. Spoken plainly, mind you. No, no, not I. Not like this. Stay here. Maybe we can help. What are you doing here? Who exactly were you talking to? Who? Me? Just now, you were talking to someone. Who was it? That's ridiculous. I'm alone here. Don't play with me, Banisher. Now tell me the truth. I'm sorry, I must press you further on your husband. Thomas had bad dreams, did he not? I do not wish to talk about it, and I'm very good at not talking about things. I understand he suffered from terrible nightmares. Did you seek help? A physician, perhaps? Of course we did. Nobody helped. Nobody could help. Perhaps you wished for a banisher. Perhaps. But if wishes were horses, beggars would ride. He died a horrible death by all accounts. Forgive me, but that pain, that fear, it must linger. Of course it lingers. I loved him and he died. He's gone and I remain. Clarity can be painful. We resist it. Lay it out plain for her. At the Siege of Vienna, we hanged wreckers. Mess with our grub, we'd gut you first. Aye. I found your secret code. 
You. You left those messages. What do you want? People here trust you. Not one of them knows you're a snake in the grass. If you think I'll stand you judging me, sir, then you surely don't know who or what I am. You can't maintain the pretense forever. Eventually the mask will crumble. Or be torn away. Who the English keep as enemies is only your business, Scotsman. If you make it so. Everyone's lives are our business. I can tell you the truth. But can you accept it? You rarely sleep. You wake exhausted. You feel drained, but blame it on the grief of your loss and the fear of your exposure. What do you know of me and my life? I know you're a spy. And I know your husband loved you very much. He found your cipher. His ghost writes upon your walls. There is no ghost here. What are you up to? Though Thomas may wish to protect you, his presence puts you in danger. He thought I was a threat to you. He tried to chase me away. He loves you very much, which is why he won't leave you alone. Is he here? Is, is Thomas here? He is. He wants you away from New Eden, away from danger. I have work here. Important work. Your king doesn't give two shites for New Eden. The war is elsewhere and will go on with or without you. Prudence, Thomas, it's time. Thomas wishes you to live true, far from New Eden, far from the English. After he died, he stuck around, trying to get you to change your ways. But you did not listen. I did what I had to do. They may call it treason. I call it loyalty. Then I hope you understand what I must now do. That was tough. I'd like to think I'd have done no different. As long as I draw breath, I'll do all I can to protect you. I know.
So? I've done my rounds, as you asked. And? You were right to name the widow Hake. She was haunted by her husband's ghost. I fixed it. Voila. I suppose I shall believe you. Anything else to report? Other hauntings are likely. I've no particulars as yet. All right. So, I'll thank you kindly, Mr. McWraith. You've done your part and earned your place. My sister should soon return. She'll surely want to meet you. Until then, you may stay. I'll take my leave. I do. Kate came by. Thick skin is back and wants to see you. Why did she not wake me? Perhaps she resented playing the messenger. Perhaps she just wanted to make you late. She was vexed. Thick skin return has upset her. Kate reminds me of my sister. Aoife. Mm, Clan McCraith's little spitfire. Always at my heels. We're giving father's guards all kinds of hell. <laughs> she was a wee thing. But strong. All the big men in armour didn't they scare her. She had more brains than I, and more wild too. <laughs> In sparring, she'd beat me, Andy. She would have made a fine swordswoman, had she grown. Someday I'd like to meet my brother and sister. I'm sorry? You're what? Twins. By my mother's letters, they must be eight years old. You never told me this. You never asked. I had no idea you got letters from home. My mother writes once a year. The letters take months to find me, if they find me at all. Until now, I've given it little thought. What are their names? Ugh. What? I'm interested, that's all. You're bothersome. Ayomi Day is my sister. Temi is my brother. Three Duarte children walk the world. God help us. Good boy. Now that you can count to three, we can move on to four. I hope the twins have more charm than you do.
Did I mention thick skin was waiting for you? All right, all right. I'm going. I can give no order, but you return. Lo, the halfpenny redeemer come to save us. Thou may enter, O oh great savior. Excuse my sister. Underestimating her would be a mistake. She's tougher than you. You're alive. Long story short, you had an angry ghost in your meeting house. It was fierce. I fell in the sea. And Taya died. Your lost pains is. But a good hunter should know when they've become the hunted. You didn't ask me here to watch you drink soup. What do you want? Kate says you have metal. I can use that. There's a service I need from you. You've something important needs doing and you want me to do it. No wonder your sister's fuming. Kate may wish her skin were thick as mine, but wishing will not make it true. Kate seems pretty tough to me. Her feelings fail her. She's much to learn. Speak frankly. What would you have me do? Banish a ghost that doesn't exist. Folk here believe in monsters. Their fear makes them weak. Kill the beast. Kill their fear and give them back their strength. Fear can be good. We can't spare much, but you shall have a gun and powder and shot with it. You know the curse is real. Why not the beast too? The beast is nothing much. A bear, perhaps a wolf. A monster only in the mind. Why not kill it yourself? Because when the banisher kills the beast, everyone here will believe the monster dead. Tis honest work. I presume you'll pay for it. I have the means to pay you. My word on it. Hmm. We'll see how that goes.
I'll hunt your beasts, whatever it is. If you answer one last wee question. You may ask it. What's with the name? No one rightly calls their daughter Thick Skin. My birth name be best forgotten. Thick Skin better suits the world. Fair enough. In the wild, we carry muskets. And we carry these. Whistle for help if the need be great. And the gun? My sister can spare her musket. If you can get it from her. Kate will be delighted. Kate will be hurt. I predict fireworks. You think Kate's feelings get in her way? Watch her reaction when you ask for the musket, then tell me I'm wrong. Don't you have business elsewhere? Go, save us all from the beast. Go do my sister's char work. I need a musket. Thick skin said I should have yours. You'll rot in hell first, and so will she. This should be good. Your sister doesn't need treat you equal. It's hard to be the younger sibling. I'll stop you there. You and I won't be bonding today, common ground or not. My musket is my liberty. With it, I go where I please. You won't lull me into giving it up. There's pain behind the anger. I doubt you'll blunt her temper. You and your sister don't much like each other, do you? No, we love each other. And everyone here owes her their lives. But... Thick skin measures worth by metal. The strong will live and the weak will die. She chose you to hunt the beast with my musket. She doesn't have to say a word about what she thinks of me. I'm just going out to hunt a wolf, a bear, maybe. You'll prove your worth another time. Thick skin wishes the beast a wolf or bear. Wishing shall not make it true. <sighs> Without a musket, You'll die. I'm sorry. I wish there were another way. You don't look sorry. Take the gun, Banisher. Take it and get lost. The flint's a little tired, but she strikes fine. Unlike some, she won't go off half-cocked. I'll take good care of her. And she of me, no doubt. <sighs> the more I know Thick Skin, the more I like her. Is it a kind and friendly nature? Some would call her ruthless. Is she wrong? Life can be cruel. Perhaps she's right to embrace the cruelty. Climbed down from your tree then, have you? Aye, with no help from you. What's your name, lad? Beloved Scudder, if you must know it. I see you found yourself a gun. Kate gave it to me. I'll check, you know. May I pass? If Kate gave you her gun, I suppose you may pass. But I don't counsel it. Bad things happen in the woods. Only Thick Skin walks safely out there. Thick Skin has a lofty reputation. Is it earned? Earned. Without Thick Skin, we'd be starved and dead. Even her sister knows it, and they hate each other. Do you know Kate well? Well, no one knows Kate Newsmith well. 
An old heartache sees to that. If your first love ends bad, they say, your heart never mends. Thank you for your time, Scudder. Good day to you. See you again, McCraith. If you're lucky. Behind Kate the Spitfire stands Kate the Broken-Hearted Girl. Hurt people hurt others. Happens every day. A, a target for your new toy. Ten guineas says you can't shoot as sweetly as you talk. <laughs> I shoot you. You're lucky. I am lucky. I'm also a phenomenal marksman. Both of these things are true. So, where do we find this beast? Not far from the missing settlers, I'll wager. That is quite the landslide. No way in or out. A mine. An old, abandoned mine. How wonderful. And our only way through. Watch out! Spectre position!
That beam is literally hanging by a thread. Twenty guineas says you miss your first shot. <laughs> you can hold me so much. See? Easy. Not so easy when the target fights back. Don't let that Spectre get to the corpse. It's about to shoot. Bloody mongrel! Well, didn't we go then? I love these old underground places. I don't. Oscar Castle nearly cost me an eye. <laughs> Investigating the cellar was your idea, remember? Daylight ahead. I'll take it. Let's go. Do you think this place is haunted? I'd almost welcome the distraction. I... Ah, seems to be stuck. Think you could take on a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> 
Not hard enough. Three Highland Kiss for you. Incoming. It's coming for you! That's unfit for us to cross.
let you fall. I know. Oh, I'm glad it's you throwing me around. Keep it that way. Strange tracks. Something passed this way. Something huge. Hell, this is grim. How angry must you be to wipe out an entire pack of wolves? Very angry. What did these wolves do to deserve such malice? It forced its way through here, dug up all the wolves, and plucked them out. If the beast did this, then it must be bloody enormous. If the beast did this, then it must be corporeal. Not even the youngling survived. What could have done this? Vengeance. Vengeance incarnate. Whatever butchered the wolves spoke as one, with many voices. Any spirits in borrowed flesh? Could it be a scourge? Yes, a scourge. Powerful and very angry. than I would have liked. That howl, like many souls screaming as one. Well, I thought scourges were rare. Have you ever faced one? Once. A trade ship into Bordeaux sank in a storm. The slaves came back as a scourge. To banish it, I made 50 pounds of bane powder and shot it with a cannon. By then, it had killed the captain, and half the crew, and the ship's owner. Tragic, really. Fancy that. A body. He's not letting the undead get in his way, is he? I more of that corpse is gonna shoot! I... 
Standing by. You must take it. Why won't you come with us, then? The quickest she'll go ahead. We'll wait with food and shelter ready, then we'll all travel on together. Nicholas here shall walk with you. There'd be no better shot among us. Do you agree, Doolan? I'll do my best for you, Samuel. Of course I will. But if Thickskin says we'll be safe, I believe it. In the wild, we carry these. Whistle for help if the need be great. Someone is generous with her whistles. Much use they were to this poor bugger. If this Doolin fellow was meant to protect the missing group, I dread to think what became of them. It was wise to split the group. The larger the band, the slower it moves. It wasn't a cattle drive. We're talking about people. Thick skin was practical. She knew what she was doing. Aye, that much is clear. Someone was here, some time ago. Take heart indeed. Maybe they're still out there somewhere. Maybe. Papers, half bond. Says here that Kate loved a woman named Deborah, and let her die. Younger New Smith has a low opinion of herself. Hence the wish to be tough like her sister. <laughs> 